What's up, Patreon? I'm coming at you from my pajama-wearing self in the middle of the night, no makeup, realness, because we keep it real on my Patreon. I saw someone post something online about banishment spells. Let me tell you something about banishment spells. First of all, what is a banishment spell? When you do a banishment, it basically says, I'm no longer thinking about that person that placed that thing. It's no longer in my brain. It's out of my brain, which what that does is any good or bad that comes into your little bubble of life is no longer affiliated with that thing. So they no longer reap the excess reward of your good luck and good fortune. They no longer also reap the excess damage of your not so good luck and not so good fortune. That's a banishment spell. It's not a curse. It's not a hex. It simply removes someone from your bubble, if you will. Hopefully you know what I mean. I like to do this very simply. I'm a water sign. I'm a Scorpio. I have a lot of water on my chart. I also have a lot of air on my chart. And I have some earth, a chunk of earth. And I have a little pinch of fire right in the Mars, right in the house of passion and pursuits and goals and aggression, anything that makes you full of zeal. That's where the fire is on my chart. We're talking about astrology here. Bear with me. Hopefully you can follow. Let's let's do this together, shall we? Okay. So for me, that means I do a lot of elemental magic. I do a lot of shit with elements. Here's the thing. If you want a banishment spell to work, you don't just do the spell. You have to also remove them out of your life. If it's a person, for example. So don't call them. Don't text them. Don't look at old pictures. Don't be all up in their Instagram. You know, really clear the air. Really separate yourself. But the banishment makes it to where it's not even a thought in your head. Okay? It's not even a part of your dreams. It's not even a part of your... You can focus on other stuff. It takes it right out of your brain. And it works. I thought it was BS until I tried it. And it was working. So here's how I do it. Here's how you can do it. Being cheap and being on the go. First thing first, you're going to grab some paper. Any paper, really. I'm going to use toilet paper. One little square would do it. Write their name. Write the place. Write whatever information you have about that person, that place, that thing that you're trying to banish. Now, I've only done banishment spells on people, so I'm going to use a person as an example. So use a person's name, their birthday, anything you can possibly remember about them. Write it. Write it. Then you're going to fold it. Don't ball it up. Fold it with intention. Every time you fold it, imagine you are removing them from your space. Imagine erasing someone's face out of a picture. Not because you want them dead, but because you don't want them in your space. Imagine someone walking out of your room and never coming back into your room. They go off into another room you know nothing about and they never come back. So fold up the paper. I'm not going to tell you clockwise, counterclockwise, away or towards, because those are details that in the moment you may not remember. So write the name and whatever information fold up your paper. Put that toilet paper in the toilet. Do not use the bathroom during this flush. Just put the paper in it alone. I know it sounds wasteful, but bear with me. You're going to flush the toilet, then you're going to close the lid, and you're going to walk away and never think of it again. It is that simple. You're welcome. Side note, you want to know why I do this? Because it's free and I didn't have to buy anything. I didn't have to lose anything. All I got rid of was that person, their image, their idea, the trauma, well, not the trauma, but I don't have to fixate on them anymore and it's no longer thought in my head. Think about what the water element represents. Water represents our wells, what fills us, what makes us feel, our intentions, our heart. Out of the heart flows living water, it says in the Bible. I'm using that as an example because a lot of belief systems equate water to the element of feeling and spirituality and connectivity the thing that connects us to everything else people use water for that metaphor a lot because water is very deep and water rushes water can yield water can heal grow restore it but it can also destroy so when you flush things into the sewer this is just toilet paper mind you a tiny little piece of toilet paper and you flush that what you're doing is you're saying, I give this to the sea. I give this back to the earth. I give this to God, universe, source, whatever you believe to be sacred to you. You're saying, I give this to you. This is no longer my problem. This is no longer my purpose. This is no longer a part of my destiny. Here you go. 
when you do it like that and you never think of it again, you don't think of it again. I've done this with a few people, people that weren't fundamental to my life, people who came in, you're in and you're out. So banishments, I would probably argue that banishments work best for people that maybe aren't permanent fissures in your life, like people who aren't a part of your immediate family or they're not your long lost best friend or whatever. Like this is someone like maybe a bad one night stand or maybe bad vibes, a coworker, someone you from a past job or something or whatever. Things you don't wish to creep into your mind, creep into your psyche when you're really trying to focus on you, you know? Write it down, flush it, walk away, never think of it again. When you do flush it, Sometimes it helps to say out loud, I release that which no longer serves me in my highest good. I release that which no longer serves me in my highest good. You release it, it's gone with the wind fabulous and it never has to come back. That is the most basic version of this spell you could probably try. And then you don't worry about it. When it's gone, it's gone. Have you ever flushed something down the toilet that you had to worry about? Really? Yeah, so that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I don't talk about magic enough on this platform, but I am. I do try to keep it real. I do try to give you my little tidbits, my little samples, because I love you and because you support me. So I want to help support you. If there is something you wanted to leave in last year, you don't want it following you into 2021, even though we are already at the edge of February, going into March. <laughs> you know, maybe you got some leftovers that you notice, some things you wanted to get rid of in your life. Obviously, I don't want you ruining your toilets and flushing actual objects down your toilets. But yes, take a tiny little piece of toilet paper, write down the thing, ball it up, fold it up, close that thing. It's gone. Into the toilet, I release that which no longer serves me, and bada bing, bada boom, out of your life. Gone. I hope this works. I hope you develop a way for this. There are plenty of other ways. By the way, there are plenty of other ways to do a banishment spell. Um, there's so many ways to do it. This is the cheapest and easiest way that I have found to do it that has consistently worked for me. Everyone's different. You can always cater and tailor things to you. You can always get fancy and do all this extra steps. You can do that. That's good for you. Great. I'm giving you the most basic foolproof version. Sending you lots of love and light. God bless.